The first planetary space war associated with the invasion of the solar system by a force hostile to humanity. There is a theory that this war took place about 2 million years ago or 13,000 years according to others as two cosmic races from the constellation Leo simultaneously invaded our solar system. One is the human race. It represent, its representatives differ from the former gods in the color of their skin, eyes, and a different shade of hair. The second space race turned out to be inhuman. They were scaled reptilians instead of iron. Copper was present in their blood. So the blood of the lizard-headed creatures, of course, was blue. It said that both of them turned out to be allies. If the Redskins lost their planet, they were forced to seek shelter. Then the reptilians turned out to be ordinary space pirates. They left the hemisphere and being aware of their inevitable de degeneration, joined the settlers for this reason. If there were no reptilians, there could be no war between the owners of the earth and the aliens, both on Mars and on earth. There were enough free space places for a colony then. But a peaceful solution to the issue was not included in the plans of the reptilians and their initiative. On their, on their initiative, the planet Astra was attacked by the aliens. It ended with the, face, the fact that the race of giants began to move to Mars and then to Earth. Astra began to con the conquest of Mars first and then the Earth. They did not succeed with Mars. They did not and they did not succeed with Earth. There were not enough military resources, and the Allies destroyed the planet Astra, artificially creating an asteroid belt instead. Why did they do it? In order to provide themselves with the brutal war of annihilation with the most affordable and versatile weapons. Do you know what an asteroid can do if it hit Earth? Any civilization, if it is of course not underground, would come to an end. In that distant squabble, asteroid weapons were used against alien fighting Mars. Several large asteroids were thrown at the red planet, plus beam weapons. What it turned out into, we all know, no atmosphere, no water, nothing. Even part of the gravitational field disappeared. At present, the surface of Mars is cold, lifeless desert. Cities have turned into solid ruins. Only pyramids, Martian weapons, and monumental metal structures have survived. Under the surface of the destroyed planet, life still flickers, but miraculously the survivors have very few resources. The only thing they can do is wait for us, their earthly relatives. In those difficult times, a large asteroid also fell on Earth. Traces of its fall, a giant tsunami, are visible even now. These are dunes in southeast Africa and the destruction in Madagascar. An asteroid attack has split the tectonic plates of the giant island, island that once belonged lay beyond Madagascar in the middle of the Indian Ocean. An island inhabited from time immemorial by a race of Lemurians. Their ancestors came to Earth at the same time as the Orions, part of the race settled on an island while the other built a colony of Syrians in southern India. The Lemurians never interfered in relations between the Orions and the Atlanteans. They tried to live peacefully and independently. They maintained free, friendly relations with a small colony of relatives of the Orions who, like the Syrians, lived separately on the desert continent of Mat or Mu. But when the civilization of the Earth began to be threatened from the outside, the Syrians did not force themselves to be persuaded. They entered the war with aliens in one alliance with the Orions and the Atlanteans. The great misfortune united all the cosmic races of the Earth into one whole. The giants who lost their homeland also took part in that battle for the Earth. On our planet, the aliens moved 12 asteroids, but only one was able to hit the intended target. The continent of Lemuria split apart and sank to the bottom of the ocean. A monstrous blow shook our planet to the ground. Tsunami waves several times encircled the Earth. The perturbation of the gravitational field brought the life to life dozens of extinct volcanoes. From the volcanic ash that rose into the atmosphere, 
the sun was clouded and the temperature dropped sharply throughout the planet, naturally heat-loving flora and fauna began to die out, thus ended the tertiary period and the quaternary period began. But all this would not be so terrible if one more misfortune had not happened, our planet in space acquired an auxiliary, auxiliary inertial motion which periodically began to change the angle of inclination of the Earth's axis. What was the way out for humans? Only one, to seek help in the war with the aliens, the aliens to the metropolis, and in the end, the combined forces of the homeland and the Earth crushed the reptilians and their allies. The latter were given a place to build a colony on the continent of Mat, or Mu, the, the goggle-eyed serpentoids were sent away. And this is how, according to an alternative theory, an ancient star war ended, which, however, was not the, e the last, for the force hostile to humanity subsequently returned to Earth again, but already under the guise of a peaceful mission, and since then they have been trying to act by proxy, dividing and playing off the people of the Earth to provoke planetary wars and subsequently a global thermonuclear war, between the modern descendants of the traditions and cultures of Atlantis and Orion. And uh, this is uh, on Solas, concerning, of course, a, a theory of uh, what some people claim could have been uh, taking place in the past. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.